Do you have rosacea or someone in your life does and they can't cover it because when they do, it just adds more texture to the face or it grays them out and it's not healthy looking? Well, stay here because today I'm gonna show you two different ways to work with your rosacea for a beautiful makeup application. And sorry, I look like this today, y'all, but if I ever have my y'all shirt on, you know, this is the day I'm gonna have. I'm real excited that my sister gets to be in the video today. My sister has rosacea, I do not, so I can actually show you on real rosacea skin. You are in the right place for rosacea with Saint and Demi. Before we get started real quick, I wanna introduce myself. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm a professional makeup artist of over 25 years. I come from the Hollywood industry. I know a thing or two about makeup on all ethnicities and all ages. And I'm also the creator of the Mature Make Masterclass. So I've created a masterclass that you can purchase. It's over 20 videos on mature technique and I use all makeup. Um, I don't think I use any saint makeup. It's really just all, all makeup from drugstore, Ulta, Sephora. I cover every budget. I talk skincare too and primers and skin prep and all the things. So you can always find that if you, if you click on the title of any video on any given week, a menu drops down in the description box and you will always see my uh, Mature Makeup Masterclass link. Today, you will also see a link for a free color match. So if you are here because you are curious about Saint, get a free color match. It's the best way to find out. Don't be like me. I thought, oh, I'm a pro artist. I don't need a color match. I'll figure out my own colors. Well, I didn't do too well. So take advantage of a free color match. You can always click on the link and it'll send you over there. It'll ask you some questions and ask you to download or upload a barefaced selfie, okay? And again, please do not use my personal email. If you see one of my earlier videos, I'm no longer doing personal email. My email is colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com, but the best way is just to click on that free color match link and it'll take you to the color match forms. And then that comes to my saint email and then that that's how I send out your free color matches through my saint email color match by Michelle gmail.com. No longer use my personal email, please. Um, people get lost and then they think I'm ignoring them and I'm, I, I don't, I care about you. I'm here for you. So enjoy makeup on rosacea skin today. I've been wanting to do this a long time. My sister is beautiful. She has beautiful skin and um, I'm real excited for you to see the outcome and I hope that it can help you. All right, everybody, here is my sister who has rosacea. Um, it's not super bad, although she would beg to differ, uh, but there are lots and lots of broken capillaries and she has a few bumps. Rosacea can get almost like an adult acne, but it's not actually acne, it's, it's rosacea. Um, her nose looks great, but there is some broken capillaries. And then as we know with rosacea, it looks pink or red, but it's really blue. It's blue because it's blood under the surface. The broken capillaries, if you look at them real closely, are she's very blue on this side too. So I want to show you two ways to cover rosacea using Saint, and we'll see what we like better. I feel like I know which one I'm going to like better, but we're going to see. Now, I went ahead and did her eyes with Saint eyeshadows and I did her brows and I did some lashes. So then I prepped her face with Embryolisse, which is a really, really nice, um, kind of a thick creamy moisturizer. It absorbs in quickly, but it also has a great, it's like a primer built in and it's French and you can get it on Amazon and it's in every makeup trailer, every TV and film I've ever worked on. Primer? Um, it's not a primer, but it works almost like a primer in that it's just so emollient. It allows the makeup to go on really well. And because we're using cream-based makeup, the Embryolisse is really nice. Okay, so here's what's happening is with Saint, you have a lot of the younger artists, and I don't say this to knock them, but they have different skin than mature women. My sister is 46, although she looks very young, close up, um, but... 
This is Aspen and Aspen is a really light contour. And what a lot of women are doing is they are putting this on their rosacea and then putting on the saint, okay? So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna use my sister's brushes here. She brought her brushes. And if this works and we like it, I will give it to her. So I'm actually gonna come on, I'm actually gonna come on this side first. And we are going to, so the Aspen, what it does is it's kind of a gray and it kind of cancels some of this like pink. And then she, are you candlelit? Is that your color? What's your 3D color? Is it candlelit or is it aura? What are you? Candlelit. Amber? Okay, so look forward. What do we think? I mean, it cancels the pink, but to me it's kind of muddy. You can't see it, can you? Oh, you're you're red down here too. I'm red all over. Yeah, it's really quite muddy looking. And then because it's a 3D, it's gonna leave added texture. Here, we're gonna go around the nose because she's really blue under that nose. We'll do the chin. But so this is one way that you can cover rosacea. And what it's done, it's kind of, it's almost kind of beigey, isn't it? It's kind of beige. You can kind of see the difference. Show me the other side of your, yeah. So should, go look that way again. Yeah, so we canceled the red. We did, we canceled the red. Um, let me see. These are the two. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'll probably use candlelit. Okay. Um, I don't know what the other one is. Your forehead has a little pink, but I'm gonna leave that because I wanna see at the end. We just have different coloring. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm real yellow undertone. I don't, I must get that from dad. Okay, so that is Amber. Now, I'm gonna take Look at how my sister does the palette. She leaves the lids on and magnetizes. I've never seen anyone do that. <laughs> I can't see what they are. Whereas mine is, um, let me see, where's mine? Where did I put mine? Is this? Here's mine that I just took to California on a trip. You know, I take the little lids off. That's so funny to me. Okay, so. I'm gonna do the Y01, we're gonna do Demi. And let's see, I'm gonna do, I need the bright brush is what I need. We'll just use the bright brush or this one, okay. Okay, so we're gonna take Y01 and Y01 is yellow orange one and the orange is gonna cancel the blue and the yellow is gonna cancel that pinky red. I like to use the bright brush. Now under the eye, I like to use the bright brush and the tear trough, but right now I want the fluffy side for her rosacea. So I'm gonna come over here. This is what I use on myself every single day because I also have broken capillaries all around my nose. You do? Yeah, not as much as you, but I do. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Have you guys seen that? Let's see, oh, do you see that sheen? Look at that sheen, look at this side, look over here. Oh, there's a little sheen there. It's just very cool and muddy and this is very pretty. What color is this? This is Y01, not GY1, Y01. It's better for all this blue. And do you feel how I'm just swirling it around really lightly? I mean, honestly, she could just do this on her face and not wear any makeup. That's, that's beautiful. And see, I didn't know I could. Well, now you know. Now I know. Now you know. 
I thought that was just for like special spots in our eyes. No. And the fact that I'm just lightly swirling it all over, honestly, you just look like you have on tinted moisturizer. It looks like you have on tinted moisturizer. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do you see why I love Demi? I love Demi. Demi is, it's just, it's a game changer. Okay. I'm going to take her candle lit because she is true candle lit in my opinion. What's the other one? Amber. Amber. I'm going to take candle lit and I'm going to take the 3D brush and I like to kind of see how I kind of twist the brush and coat it. And I'm going to start. Okay, that's how I've been doing it. Yeah, and I kind of go in the direction of the brush. And I'm not putting much on. My sister has nice skin. Relax, relax, thank you. I'm like trying to follow you. I love that blender. I know, it's a really nice blender. So soft. I've tried a lot of blenders. This is the one that truly is the closest to the beauty blender. It feels just like beauty blender. Okay, so let's see, look at her forehead. Beautiful. We're gonna paint some dimension in though. Now my sister doesn't like bronzer, so I'm gonna show her how to use bronzer today. Okay, and now we're gonna go down the nose with candle, candle lit. Now I'm avoiding the eye area because on mature women, if you're over 40, I do not recommend highlight, 3D highlight around the eyes, only Demi. Okay. Now, do you wet that sponge ever? Uh, yeah, I dampen it before I use it, but yours feels nice. Like if it was feeling too dry and small, I would have dampened it. Okay. But you know what I really love is my stands out sponge. That's my favorite. Maybe someone will get that for Christmas. I buy, I buy that with my own money, but I'm gonna tell you it is worth every penny okay so there it is down the center of our face candlelit now i'm going to go in with candlelit and we're going to do the side of her face that has the aspen that canceled her red i like that you have nothing on the side of your face but y01 you could go out of the house like that it's absolutely beautiful and i thought that was just from like under eye no nope. Now I've already got a whole layer of Aspen on her, so I'm gonna try to go real light because I don't wanna add more texture to her face even though she has really nice skin. We were raised by a skincare fanatic and we are skincare fanatics. And then my sister went to work for the Estee Lauder counter and the Lancome counter. And so she has pretty good understanding of skincare and ingredients. Very good. So she's always taking good care of her skin. Very good up till 2014. Why when well, then, you got yeah. out of it and it wasn't free anymore? Well, yeah, but things have changed. Sure. So I'm Technology good has up changed. to... Yeah, well, I mean, glycerin is glycerin, squalene is squalene. You know, you still have your basic good ingredients. Hyaluronic acid was in advanced That's night repair thing. long before anyone knew what it Pat was. It was patented until 2018. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. It looks a little ghost-like. It's it's funny because in person it's prettier, but it looks just a little ashy ghost-like. The side looks so natural. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now even though I love 
how her skin looks here all alone. I'm gonna go in with the candlelit over the YO one. And then we can always touch up with Y01 if there's any areas where we need a little touch up. But I don't need much because the color canceled the color. So I need very, very little highlight. I need very little. Am I being too hard? No, I really, I really beat my face hard. I do too. People can hear it and they're like, dang, you're really, I'm like, yeah, I really am. I really beat my face. Yeah. When they say beat your face, I beat it. Beat it. Feels good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're a little different, aren't we? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. To me, that looks a million times better. I like this side. That looks a million times better. I'm not going heavy. Like, I can see a little bit of pink out here, but I don't want to go too heavy. Especially, I don't like to go heavy where there's peach fuzz or facial hair. Is that? Yeah. I mean, that's where your hairline is. Nothing wrong. It's not like you're neglecting yourself. Okay, let's see. I mean, that is so beautiful as opposed to the other side. Let's see the other side. Not as pretty. Not bad. Not bad, but not as pretty. Yeah. And do you see, she still has those little teeny. And they're not bumps. Is it? Yeah, they are. They're bumps. There? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. All right, so. Well, if you push down on them, they are. I'm gonna go in with Y01. We're gonna cover them. But do you see, like, she could literally wake up. She could put on a tinted uh, tinted moisturizer. What do you like? Do you still wear that Maybelline? Yeah, yeah the Maybelline BB cream's beautiful. She could put Damn. on she could put on a really sheer layer of BB cream or tinted moisturizer, and then she could go in with this fluffy brush in Y01, and her skin would look flawless, and she would have very little coverage on close up. I can use the two together. Oh yeah! I didn't know you could mix makeup. Oh yeah, all the time. Look at me not knowing. Look at you not watching my YouTube. So supportive. It's okay. No one has time. I don't even have time to watch YouTube. Okay, so see how we got rid of her little bumps? They're gone. Because color cancels color. They are completely gone. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do under eyes. So I'm going to do 03. And I'm just going to go in again with the bright brush. I gave you the bright brush, right? Do you have this? Oh, I'll give it to you today. Yay. Okay, just look right where you are. That's good. And blink when you need to. My sister is quite um, blue-purple under the eye. She's very reddish blue under the eye. Very, very thin-skinned. Real. She's real blue. Like, way more than I am. Um, so, let's see how that looks. Oh, snaps. Yeah, because, I mean, look at that. Yeah. So I'm only taking the 03. 03 is the peach color. And an orange corrects blue, and she's very blue under the eye. Lots of pink, lots of purple, but that's blue-based. So I'm canceling the blue. Let me get this corner. You're, you almost look like you have purple eyeliner on. Maybe I do. Maybe you do. Would it be unheard of? Okay, and then I'm gonna do, uh, oh here, Y01. I love Y01 for brightening. So Y01 is just a lighter, peachier version of 03. I'm going to use the fluffy side of the brush. I don't want to get her cute little mole because that's so cute. It looks like a little beauty mark. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 
You have no wrinkles under your eyes. Smile. Oh my gosh, you have no wrinkles. Hi, cream. You also stopped tanning when you were young. So did I, but... Well, it was the 90s and it was grungy and gothy. Yeah. So I only went out at night. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Actually, we only went to the beach at night. Mm-hmm. I feel like I still need that little spot. It's a rough spot. It is, because nothing wants to stick to it. But we're gonna we're gonna use setting spray in a minute. Okay. All right, so there we have it. There is the beautiful under eye. Do you see that sheen? Look at that sheen. I mean that's dummy. Okay. She doesn't know how to use bronzer and doesn't like it. So we are going to we show her. Contouring? Huh? We're not contouring? No. Do you want to contour? Do you like, where do you contour? Everywhere. You do? I don't know. You just give me contour. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I want to do Bella. So here's Bella bronzer, which she doesn't really know how to use. And that's okay. Not everyone likes bronzer. But what I like to do... I don't know how to use cream bronzer. Got it. I like to start out here. That's where I contour. That's why I don't think you need always both. I would rather contour. One or the other? Yes. Except if you ever want to do under your chin or neck, because that's what I do on a lot of days, then I, I would use a cooler color like shadow. I can show you in a minute. Um, so just going to warm you up a little bit. I don't want to do too much because she's fair skin. Then I go in and I pounce it in. So it all becomes one. I know I'm rough. That's I'm fine. Rough. Okay, let's see. Subtle, I'm not going heavy. I'm going subtle. I don't see it. Exactly, because it became your skin. But it, I already see more dimension on the camera. Do you not see more dimension at your forehead and yes. cheeks? Don't lie to me. I know I do. It's just this beautiful warm dimension so it keeps the light in the center of the face makes the face look more sculpted without looking harsh or like Instagram makeup. I probably used the wrong brush. Yeah, I use this big fat brush. This is the bronzer brush. Okay, and then we bounce it. I think the thing is most that I don't know which brush to use for what. Got it, okay. Now, if you want, you could do a little bit on the jawline, just a little bit, not too much, because I'm really not going I'm not going for a sculpted look today. Sometimes I, I like a little bronzer on the neck too, because you do have a little bit of color down here. You do have a little sun damage on your chest. We all do, because we protected our face and not our necks and not our chest. I know. So do you see how you're looking a little warmer now? Mm -hmm. um, and then this gave you a nice shadow without looking like contour. You just look like you have a little warmth. Okay, now here's the thing with, here's the thing with rosacea. You really don't want too much blush because you're gonna, where does this go? We'll figure that out. Okay, um, you already have color in your cheeks when you have rosacea. If we put too much blush on there, it's gonna look too much. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the R5. No, what's that? The blush. That Sunset, summer Love. Mm -hmm. Do you love it? It's I love pretty. Summer yeah, love. I like Summer Love too. But it's fall. I, I love still wear it. Yeah, of course. We're Summer Love year round. Okay, I'm going to do R5, Demi R5 which is pink, and you're like, wait, you just canceled pink. But give me a smile. This is just almost like, it's almost like pink grapefruit, but 
it's no, Jimmy. It's something. Yeah, it almost looks like you're just lightly blushing. I like this better than Summer Love. I know. I'll get you one. Oh. R5. I love R5. I wear it every single day. I love R5. I took it on my trip. Look at that. Is that cute? Oh, I like that. I know, and it's a demi, so it has, like, smile. It's sheer. Look at that beautiful sheen, and it stays on longer. Demi stays on longer than the 3D. Why is that? Because of it has more pigment. Hmm. Yeah, R5 means the, the higher you go up with the number, the more pigment it has, and yet it's, in, it's encased in wax. So it's going to have that beautiful skin-like texture. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's do lips and then we're done. Now you are light. So we're gonna go. I might do summer love on your lips. Do you ever do summer love on your lips? Mm Let's see. That's pretty. What is that? Uh, ColourPop BFF, five bucks. Right? I'm all over that. We love affordable makeup. Okay, and I'm gonna do Summer Lovin'. Now I've got grease in my head. What, am I rough with that? No, you're putting it in my mouth. Oh. It's safe enough to eat. You sure about that? Yeah. Okay, press that together a little bit. That's beautiful. We love this look in my family. We like the lighter lip with the heavier eye, don't we? We do. And then, to top it all off, We're gonna do the new lip gloss I just made with Mob Beauty. It doesn't um, come out until 2023. It's not this deep. This is looks deeper in the tube, but it's um, kind of a light milky pink. And oh, so pretty. I'm gonna be bummed when I run out of this. Oh my gosh. It's like real creamy. It's not sheer. It's like a creamy gloss. It is. It's not glossy, glossy. Mm -mm. Look at see. How pretty. I love it. Okay. And then I'm gonna set her with powder. And I don't know where my Saint powder is at the moment, and so we're gonna just use Say. We're gonna use my Say powder. Um, but here's, we could use this other side as your powder brush. Okay. And just the tiniest bit, only where you need it. So on you, that would be T-Zone, because she's more combo skin. Sensitive and oily. Rosacea, sensitive, oily. Real dry. Surface dehydration. So we got her on Korean skincare and she loves it. It's the best. All right, let's see. I mean, that's freaking gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna do setting spray. Have you ever used this one, Charlotte Tilbury? No. I use Urban Decay. Oh, all nighter? Mm -hmm. Do you feel this? Do you feel it? It smells good too. Oh yeah, it's got a ton of fragrance in it. Hmm? Okay, you can open. Okay, I love it. I love this. My glasses are dirty. I do you love your cheeks? Mm -hmm. Here, I do. Can you see in this magnification? Hold it. Oh, it's a seven. It's a seven. It's not enough for you, but. <laughs> Shut up. Can you see it? Probably not with the, now it's casting a shadow on you. Okay, I'll do this.
We need to go out tonight. Oh, here's, here's what we need to do. Let's fluff the hair. Cute. I love it. I'll put her eyeshadows too on the, um, on the video description. The only thing I would do different, and I'm going to show you real quick. Put that down. Nobody wants to watch you. Okay. Watch this. The only thing I would do different is I'm going to, she still has that one little spot that does not want to cover. So I'm putting Y01 back over it, but guess what? It's not looking cakey because it's waxy. Which is so weird to hear. Mm -hmm. Cause it doesn't feel waxy. No, it doesn't. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of setting spray on the back of my hand and I'm going to pounce it on so it stays in place. I also will go under the eye, look up. I also will go under the eye and set my Demi with a little setting spray. And there you have it. What rosacea, right? I don't see rosacea. And this side isn't bad, it really isn't, but I can still see some gray muddiness through here. Whereas to me, this just looks like healthier skin. But you're real close too. Yeah, I'm real close, yeah. But it'll be interesting. Put in comments, if you're watching, put in comments, do you like the Aspen side? The Aspen side is this side? Or do you like the Demi side? Let us know in comments, because I'm not saying one is right, one is wrong. I'm saying I prefer Demi, but some of you might prefer Aspen and that's totally fine. It really is. It's totally fine with me, whichever you prefer, but I would love to hear. Um, I just think this looks more like skin on this side, um, but this isn't terrible. If, if, if this was a few years ago with Saint and we didn't have the Demi system yet because Demi's only gonna be two years old, this would, this would work. It would work, so. I don't, I'm not mad at it. Anyway, if you love this content, hit subscribe. It lets YouTube know that you want more of this type of content in your feed. Please let me know any questions you have. Thank my sister for being here, my sister Katie. And um, that's it for this week. On Saturday, I am going to be doing, I don't know yet, I think another drugstore because you guys went crazy for drugstore. I might do another drugstore look for Saturday. Um, but you know, every Wednesday I, I do a saint related video and I think this is beautiful. Thank you for my model. See you Saturday.